The Zen the Zone Zero special livestream for 1.3 happened just a few days ago, and today we're going to be talking about the recap that we, you know, got to see all the really, really cool stuff going to Zen the Zone Zero. So I'm pretty excited for this new update. I think that the new update is actually really, really good. A lot of really good events coming. And so, yeah, I really want to talk about that today. But before we get into that, make sure to obviously like, comment, and subscribe uh, to the channel. Would love to see all your smiling faces here. Don't forget to check out Gamer Subs. Use code Tystra for 10% off. Uh, today, actually, as of this recording, the Buff Pup set uh, just released, which is a brand new hoodie, new sweatpants, and of course, a new shirt as well. Looks really, really good. Shout out to Buff Pup and shout out to Gamer Subs for sponsoring me. Use code Tystra for 10% off. Let's get a swig going. And let's get right into ZZZ's 1.3 special live stream. Now, a lot of cool things happen with this. So we're going to go through this. I haven't read through this specifically yet. But shout out to Hoyo Lab, obviously, for having this. And shout out to Sora Hoshina for uh, making this comprehensive uh, overview of what happened for Zelda Stone Zero, right? So for things first, we do have confirmation of the phase one banners and phase two as well so first things first yanagi is going to be the phase one uh s rank you know agent followed by anby and billy being uh the a ranks so i think that's okay um i believe i already have anby and billy done with but anby i think is the better of the two in regards to the a ranks yanagi looks awesome now i made a comment on yanagi now i want to kind of clear it up uh i called her plain looking and We'll go down here a little bit. Uh, I called her plain looking in regards to as not really something to be discouraging. It was more so that she's the most like normal looking girl out of all the characters we've had. And that's not a bad thing. I think that honestly, nor normalcy is not a bad thing. She looks like somebody that you would see down the street and she's hot. Like there's nothing wrong with that. Like there, there's nothing wrong with being normal looking so to me i think that she's attractive as a normal girl like she's not you know obviously jane doe being a rat girl she's not you know uh miyabi who's you know cat fox girl i still can't figure that one out you know so for zzz this is a huge thing because a lot of these women, well i mean outside of nicole nicole looks kind of normal but you get what i'm trying to say so uh yeah, so Yanagi and B and Billy are going to be phase one. Lighter is going to be phase two as an S rank. And the reason why I emphasize the S rank thing is because a lot of people were saying that he was going to be an A rank uh, agent. And I kept saying, no, he's not. I'm telling you right now, they wouldn't do that to him. And they didn't, just like I said. Uh, but our A rank agents are going to be Ben and Corrin. Ben being more of the defensive unit and Corrin being a physical DPS. Um, so I'm excited for Lighter because Lighter looks cool um the sons of kaladin are such a fun like team to really like play as for the most part um i i don't think i've had a bad time with any of the characters outside of piper and piper is just kind of not my style so but yeah i dig lighter he looks really really cool and as you can see here we get our first looks with him he looks really really dope um but he's going to be a fire stun yanagi's going to be a lightning anomaly so a lot of anomaly characters coming out uh as of late or at least that's what it seems like right all right so we're getting new ba uh bang boo as well we got batty boo right here hold on sorry just woke up a little bit ago so i'm still trying to like clear my throat uh but we do got batty boo who's going to be added to the summoning pool um he seems all right and then night boo is going to be a free to play uh bang boo that we get through the big event that's going to be happening for zzz which we'll get into here in just a moment we got ourselves new w engines of course with time weaver being for yanagi and blazing laurel being for lighter special episode featuring of course yanagi and we're going to be really digging into the special ops team i can't remember the name of the team specifically but it includes uh yanagi Sokaku, Miyabi, and then this guy. I I have I can't find his name. Uh, maybe I'm just dumb and haven't looked. Um, but yeah, I love this team because Yanagi again is like really hot as a normal girl. Miyabi looks sick as fuck. She looks badass. Sokaku is 
insanely good in my personal opinion and I and I think she's adorable and then this dude just looks like Zhao but happy <laughs> like that's really all I could say uh we are getting another agent story as well in phase two with our boy lighter which I figured as much um I do like the agent stories I think they're pretty good so uh we got the I get all new program which is you know obviously their summon thing but it's weird how they name it all new program uh but yeah so we're getting 10 free summons 10 free bang boos of course so phase one will be the 10 free summons phase two will be the 10 free bang boo uh so we got the tv scheduled event which you know i think this was the one that they were talking about where we get the knights i could be wrong though um we're also getting a lighter event where it's like a you know if you ever played the game double dragon maybe maybe people are like too young for that uh because i'm old as shit um but this event looks really cool to have a side scroller so i i'm pretty excited for that we got the simulated battle trial which is actually going to be a brand new permanent game mode where you take six uh of your agents and six bang boo in with you so this is the time right now to really start leveling your characters up there's an event right now where you can actually put some of your agents in for free exp gains definitely get that done because you're gonna need it when we start going into this stuff uh it's basically like a combination of nikkei's tribe tower and genshin's spiral abyss which both are really good in their own right um i don't think people's complaints with spiral abyss are warranted outside of there's not a lot to do outside of it i think spiral abyss is okay just yeah but you get my point. Um, the combination of those are really, really good in my personal opinion. This is where you get the night boo. That, I think that's this is where it's at. Um, so the mystery of the Arpeggio Fault um, is basically like a side scroller um, TV mode where you're going to basically just go through and you're just attacking different areas, like as you can see right here. So this is your bang boo uh, in the white, and you're attacking other bang boos. Like that's your health, that's your attack power, stuff like that. Um, it looks really cool, but at the same time, like TV mode, I don't miss it personally. Some people do, but I really don't. Um, we got the virtual battlefield mayhem, which is another like battle mode event, which, you know, it is what it is in my opinion. Uh, when sandwich is coming knocking, Another good event where you can serve sandwiches to your favorite characters. Um, very easy event from what it looks like. It looks like just one of those events where it's like, hey, we're trying to give you free stuff. Just do this really quick so you can say you did something. <laughs> the Ehe assistance program, uh, kind of the same thing in my opinion, but you have to get footage of like Bang Boo and all that. So again, like the events I did, like they don't go into a lot of detail with these events, but yeah and some of these events i just kind of went okay yeah that looks all right um <laughs> but we got the help kai event which look gives you basically weekly goals to like take care of things and you get free or not free stuff like you're doing you're doing something for it but yeah it looks like you get a decent amount of uh uh polychromes for it then of course we also got the announcement that we're getting the double events again so double hia uh, combat simulations and double the uh, uh, disk drives that we can get. So, pretty cool. Uh, we're getting the Sanzi Gadget Store, which is going to basically give you stuff for a shelf in your room that you can decorate with statues. Now, what I find cool is that Sanzi is the artist behind uh, the first song in the first trailer, and I believe they're just a performing artist for Hoyoverse in the first place. Um, so it's really cool that they keep integrating this band into the actual game. So I think that's really nice. And of course, now we're getting into uh, other optimizations. The Sanzi Gadget Shop was the first optimization. The second one, Layout Optimized for the Friend System. Uh, it looks like they actually elaborate here. Hold on. Uh, in version 1.3, we optimized the layout of the friend system, expanding the size of the name card, and added a section to display titles and badges. Proxy will, will be able to get various titles from a bench and from Agent Trust. You can only equip one title, and as for these badges, you can earn them from various game modes and have multiple on display at once. So, as you can see, you have your little titles right here, or the title right here, badges right here. Pretty cool. 
I love I always love adding more customizable stuff to uh your profile i think that just makes it your own profile and you don't look like the same person over and over again you know uh lots of uh, compendium layout optimization i guess it's just to make it easier um that's cool and it looks like we also have this as well which is going to basically let you choose for the week what stuff you want to go for so that's pretty neat uh as we continue on, my bad. They did lay out more of the stuff for the challenge modes and everything, so I think that's legit. Um, but yeah, lots of really cool stuff coming with that. Uh, as we continue onward, related agent feature for expert challenges, so you can actually look at like what agents uh, benefit from what stage you're playing on, so I think that's pretty awesome. Because now, instead of just having to be like, oh, I don't know which one is which, and you have to go to your agents and do that, you actually click on them while you're in that interface, like the actual, like, bleh, the stage, and it'll actually show you which uh, which agents benefit from that stage. So, uh, curve craft, qu quick craft. God, can I talk today? Sorry. I need, I need another swig. I'm still trying to wake up. My mouth is not moving at the speed of my brain, and my brain's running slow as it is. Ah, there we go. All right. So, quick craft. Now, why this is important, before when you craft it, or dismantled, right? I want to talk about dismantling first. Or actually, no, sorry. Let's talk about the quick craft. So, I was getting ahead of myself because there's craft war uh, advanced suit. We'll talk about that here in a second. So, what quick crafting is, right, is before you would have to craft three green, let's say, uh, combat badges to level up your, like, let's say, a character of your choosing that's DPS related. You would need three greens to make a blue, three blues to make a purple, right? Rule of threes that whole universe absolutely loves. Now, instead, instead of just having to, like, go, okay, I have to do green to blue, then blue to purple, you could do green to purple, and it's gonna cost you nine green to make a purple. That way, it makes it a little bit uh, faster for you, and you can get your stuff ready quicker, right? So you're not standing there being like, oh, now I gotta craft this many into blue, and I gotta craft this many into purple. I think that's a, a wonderful feature to add, because it's like, bro, I was getting sick and tired of being like, I know I have more than enough materials, to level up this character when I had a bunch of greens but not enough like blues to make purple. So that's a really cool feature. This also extends to advanced, well, it kind of does, but advanced, advanced tuning items, right? We couldn't craft purples into yellows. Now we can. And I think that's great because now it adds a different flair to like what you can go for. I was getting sick and tired of the blue materials. I was getting I was getting sick and tired of the purples only because of the fact that I wouldn't get what I wanted out of just two out of the ten. Because when you do a multi in the disc drive section to use your purples, you only get two actual like S rank disc drives. And I'm glad that now we can just craft into the S ranks. Now, this is what I was talking about before, the optimized disk drive dismantling experience. They changed this to where you don't have to worry about when you select all. You could, like, it, it basically, you could make it a little bit easier on yourself. You could select all purples from the thing. You could change it to where, like, I want to dismantle anything that has HP percentage, defense percentage. It's basically going to where, like, HSR went to before to help with dismantling. So I think that's really awesome that they fixed that. Um, we were needing that like for a long, long while. Uh, we got pin your favorite agents in Bang Boo. Pretty easy. It's just basically favoriting your agents in Bang Boo, just like HSR. And then disk drive selection screen optimization. They just kind of made it look prettier. Um, but what's really cool is that when you're looking at like characters and what disk drives you want to put on them, it'll now actually display on the side the top sets, not just one, the top sets. So you'll see like percentage wise which set to go for for your four piece two piece so i think that's absolutely needed so overall 1.3 looks like it's going to be a very very good update uh i'm very excited to try out yanagi and lighter again i i love the fact that she looks really normal 
and it's it just comes off as more relatable because i can't relate to the rat to a rat girl but i find the rat girl extreme. oh my god but yeah overall 1.3 looks like it's gonna be a lot of fun i think that zzz has not put out a bad live stream and this live stream is no exception it was really good so let me know in the comments down below if you're excited for 1.3 uh but yeah that's gonna be it for today love you guys to death and as always we will catch you in the next video please take care and be safe